Hey, man, y'all already know what's going on. We in the building. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We in here talking about 051 Melly, Dre Lloyd, Tay Savage, FBG Duck, and Lil Dark Affiliate, THFBA. So look, you know, y'all already know I'm going to let a few people get in here. Y'all already know as soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, we're going to talk our shit. We're going to be in here for an hour plus. Y'all already know we air day with this shit, man. Ain't no goddamn it, you know. Let's see. Yeah, bro, you already know. Shout out my boy Kylie in the building. Y'all already know, man. We come to talk our shit, man. My son, we air day with this shit, man. We putting up, man, talking our shit, bro. They might, they better get used to us, bro. They better get used to our faith, bro. Like we here every day with this shit. So all right, we got a nice amount of people up in here. Y'all already know, man. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button. We're gonna start off with the, the Melly and the Dre Lord situation. We're gonna get right into it. Hey Kylie, man, you know we back to back with this shit, man. My son. Look, but uh so look, you know, 051 Melly, Dre Lord. 051 Wu and Fun Size. We're going to get into the story. So, look, 051 Melly was cool with somebody named Dre Lord that was from a block called Quiet Money. He was like, he from Quiet Money and he from Pocket Town type shit. So, look, you know, the shit that Dre Lord and Melly both had in common, they both slime balls. They both out here snaking shit. They both out here back doing shit. You know what I'm saying? They both out here, you know, they. They two peas in the pod. They get money together. They shoot dice together. They hit licks together. They going on hits together. Oh, my son. Hey, yeah, man. Kylie, man, you already know, man. That's how I love my boy. You a real member. You always putting up. We all, you know what I'm saying? We standing on business. But, uh, so yeah, man, Dre and Melody had a lot of shit in common. They both were slime balls, you know? And y'all, look. I'm gonna say a saying that y'all remember while I'm telling this story. Y'all done heard this saying before. Ain't no honor amongst thieves. So look, Dre and Me Dre Lord and Melly had a lot of shit in the common. They both slime balls. They both back doing shit. They both doing shit in the field. They both like to shoot dice together. You know, they like to get money together. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit. But look, another thing that both of them had in common is they both had money on their head. Like Dre Lord had money on his head and Melly had money on his head. Dre Lord, the money on Dre Lord head was like a few thousand, probably like five to ten thousand. Dre Lord probably had like five to ten thousand dollars on his head. Melly had a whole honey bun on his shit. Like Melly had a whole honey bun on his head. A whole hundred K on his head. Everybody knows how he got that hundred K on his head. I ain't gonna lie, Melly probably had more than a hundred K on his head, bro. You know, but um, so look, it was a situation where 051 Wu, Melly little brother, ended up going to jail. And he ended up having a bond, but you know, nobody really had the money to get him up out of jail, which is surprising for Young Money. Like Young Money is one of them blocks that they get their homies out of jail. Like if, if a Young Money member in jail and he got a bond, you might as well consider phone him. He coming home. He definitely coming home type shit. Hey, look, everybody who ain't smashed the like button, smash that shit, run that shit up. You know, my son, we talking our shit about Melly, Dre Lord, Wu, Fun Size, Pocket Town, Quiet Money, YM. We talking our shit. If you ain't smashed that like button, make sure you go smash it. But, uh, you know, Wu end up going to jail for some shit and he ended up getting a bond and surprisingly hey look hey man you already know Kylie man you already know man we in the building man we on our way to 100k man but look you know young money one of them blocks that is like I right, if a young money member if a young money member goes to jail and they got a bond you might as well consider that that young money member coming home type shit you know you might as well consider that they coming home because it's like it don't been like like a lot of blocks you got um, like a whole bunch of blocks in the rack and it's like a lot of blocks they not coming like that on certain blocks if you go to jail and they give you a bond 
it's like, you know, you probably still, even though you got a bond, bro, like your block not built like how young money is. Your block not built like how these other blocks is. Like, you know, it's a lot of blocks that members that go to jail and they got, they have to be having bonds and they have to be sitting. Like, look when THF Zoo, THF Bay Zoo, God damn it, uh, sat in jail on a $7,500 bond, man. Like, and Mubu Crump was clowning his ass. Like, so look, maybe THF probably got more money than Young Money now because they tied in with Lil Durk and Lil Durk ended up getting rich. But back when, when nobody was rich and, you know, everybody, ain't nobody had no famous rappers, like Young Money was like, they ass was bonding their members out. Like Young Money was standing on more business than THF when it came to bond and they members out and shit like that you know but um yeah bro like that thf zoo that's a perfect example of like somebody going to like zoo shot in jail on a 7500 dollars bond for months and his ass supposed to be friends with Lil dirt on my son he's supposed to be friends with Lil dirt shout out my boy trying to go in the building like you supposed to be homies with Lil dirt and you sitting in jail, like your bond was 75000 So that means it only took seven seventy five hundred for you to get out of jail. And you sat in jail for your whole bit type shit. But look, so that's why I say it was surprising that Wu, YM Wu, 051 Wu, was sitting in jail. And it's surprising that Melly had to do what he had to do to get Wu out of jail because there's young money we talking about. Like young money, they ass, you know, if anything, like Wu ass supposed to come home. It done been a few situations that uh young money members done went to jail and had million dollar bonds. They had million dollar bonds. So that means they had to come up with a hundred thousand dollars. They had to come up with a hundred thousand uh, dollars to get you know the member out of the jail and i ain't gonna front my shit they did that shit a few times like ym did that shit a few times they done came up with a few hundred k's and got they uh homies up out of jail so look all right yeah as soon as y'all get in here make sure you smash the like button we finna talk about melly dre lord woo and have melly had the snake his homie out to bond his little brother out man we finna talk about that shit fool you know my son at this point we look Hey, shout out everybody. We got 75 people in the building. We at least need 65 likes. Before we start talking back about the content, shout out everybody who smashed the like button so far. At this point, we just waiting on the other people who ain't smashed the like so we can get back into this shit, man. Look, I'm, I'm about to I'm about to walk y'all through this shit, man. We got a lot of shit to talk about today. We're going to be in here for at least an hour plus. Y'all know we on the pull up, man. We in here talking our shit. All right, man. All right, look. Y'all standing on business. Look, I'm finna get back to the content, but y'all keep standing on business. Y'all keep smashing the like button. So, look. So, all right, Melly, he want to get his little brother out. So, look. Melly, Dre Lord, and a female named Fun Size. They ass, hell yeah, on my son. Nah, real shit. So, look. Melly, Dre Lord, and a female named Fun Size. They ass riding around. They riding around in the trenches. And all of a sudden, Melly ends up pulling over the car. And Melly and Dre Lord, they get out the car and they go into an alley. So look, when Melly and Dre Lord go into this alley, a whole bunch of shots go off. A whole bunch of shots go off. And Melly end up running back to the car. And, you know, he end up getting in the car. And the female fun side, she like, damn, what the hell just happened? I just heard a whole bunch of shots go off. And Melly tell the girl, he like, shit, I needed that money to go get my little brother out of jail. So, boom, he basically just told her, like, I just killed his ass because he had a bag on his head, you know. And, you know, Melly end up, and, you know, Melly know the people that's doing the payout. The people who put the money on Dre Lua head, Melly know the people the whole time. You can chalk that shit up to, like, all the ties that Melly got in the city. Melly got ties to the Foes, the BDs, the GDs, the Stones, you know, 
all type of shit. He got ties to the foes because goddamn it, four them tied in with Bump J and them block heavy. Ain't nobody know Bump J and them day at four corner hustlers. Goddamn it, he got ties to the moles because of uh G Slim. You know what I'm saying? Like G Slim is his uncle. God damn it. One of the one of the co-founders of No Limit is Melly Uncle. So that's how he got ties to the moles. He got pictures with Lil Bibby, all type of shit. Uh he got ties with the BDs because his ass is a BD. Even though his ass BDK on my son, he beat like he top killer of the BDs, but he got ties to the BDs because he a BD and his stepdad, uh Fido, is one of the big guys for the BDs and shit like that. So he got ties to the BDs like that. And he got ties to the GDs because his ass, his young money clicked up with all the GD sets on my son. Young money clicked up with Jaro, Mob, Tugaville, you know what I'm saying? All these GD sets that he, you know what I'm saying? That his block clicked up with, so he got ties to them. And then his own block, you know what I'm saying? They MC, they Mickey Cobra. They predominantly MC Mickey Cobra. So it's like, you know, long story short, Melly got ties through damn near all, all them nations I got just named. Melly got ties to all them nations. So whoever put this money on Dre Low ahead, Melly got ties to him. So it's like shit. His ass killed his homie. I ain't gonna lie. That shit crazy. Four them killed Dre Lord. And, you know, he cast in on the uh, bag that was on his head. And he went and got his little brother Wu up out of jail. So it's like, shit. You know, I know a lot of people probably looking like, damn, that was some snake ass shit. Man, I ain't gonna lie. It low key was because it's like, shit. You know, it's surprising that Young Money ain't had the money. It's surprising that Melly even had to do that shit because usually Young Money, they, I mean, they ain't named they self that shit for nothing. Like everybody know they call YM, Young Money. They ain't put money in their name for nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, you know, like, like what's the point of y'all putting name in y'all block? What's the point of putting money in y'all name if y'all broke? You know what I'm saying? Young Money, they ass getting money. They wasn't broke like they, like I said, they ass done put up a hundred K a few times. I'm talking about it's a few of their homies that had million dollar bonds where they need a hundred thousand dollars to get their homies out of jail and they ain't did that shit a few times. So it's surprising that they wasn't able to get Wu out of jail and Melly even had to do this shit. But like I said earlier, fool. There's no honor among thieves. Dre, Money, and Melly was both slime and shit. They both was out here back doing shit. They both had their hand and all type. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, hey, look, 120 people in the building. We at least need 95 likes, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who smashed the like button. At this point, we just waiting on everybody. Who ain't, if you ain't smashed the like button, Go on ahead, smash it so we can hurry up and get back to the content, man. We ready to talk our shit. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't here talking about Melly, Dre Lord, Wu. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of shit we talking about, fool. Like, we ain't here talking our shit right now. If you ain't smashed the like button, go on ahead, smash it, and we're gonna get back to the content. Shout out to everybody who smashed it already. At this point, we just waiting on the people who ain't smashed it, you know? Once I see y'all smashing the like button, we're going to get back to the content. I ain't going to lie. I'm ready to talk my shit, man. So y'all go ahead and smash it so we can get back into this shit, man. We, hey, look, we just waiting on the people who ain't smashed the like button yet, man. That's all we waiting on. We just waiting on the people who ain't smashed the like button. We finna talk our shit. Y'all already know what's going on. If y'all want me to, uh, if y'all want to talk shit with us in the chat, God damn it. Become a member of OTM. And if y'all want me to make the chat, if y'all want me to take members only off the chat, and y'all want me to start dropping a link for, I mean, I ain't even gonna lie, I probably dropped a link for a few of my homies that's on this shit, like on this one. I ain't even gonna lie, I'll probably drop the link for a few of them that I rock with. But now, y'all seen the shit that I post in my community tab. I ain't gonna do no talking. Like, shit, y'all already seen the shit. But, uh, Alright, y'all keep smashing that shit. Y'all keep smashing that shit. I'm about to get back into the content, but everybody who ain't uh hit the like, yeah, y'all keep smashing that shit. But look, yeah, man, you know, like I said, it ain't no honor amongst thieves. 
they have, they have some money. Yeah, ain't no honor amongst these. If anything, you would have thought that Dre Lord, because look, Dre Lord had like at least five to 10,000 on his head. Melly had a hundred K or better on his shit. So if anything, you would have, if you would have think anybody was going to slime out anybody for the money that was on their head, you would think that Dre Lord was a, a, a slime Melly out. Like Melly had a whole honey bun on his shit, bro. Melly had a whole honey bun on his shit, bro. Melly had a hundred thousand dollars on his head, bro. Like if anything, you would think that goddamn it, Dre Lord was slime Melly out, but like shit, you know. I guess Melly got presented a situation where he felt like it was worth it to kill his homie to get his brother out of jail, you know. Hey. You know, like shit. Let me know in the comment section if y'all think Melly was bogus. Or if y'all feel like shit, uh, he did what he had to do to get his brother out of jail. Let me know if y'all think Melly was bogus or y'all think Melly did what he had to do to get his brother out of jail. But I, right. you know, we definitely going to come back to that. You know what I'm saying? We, I want to talk about this Tay Savage and FBG Duck shit, but we definitely going to come back to the uh, the Dre Money shit. Everybody make sure y'all smash the like button. We got over 100. We got 110 people in the building. We at least need 100 likes on my son. Smash that shit. Before we get into this Tay Savage shit, FBG Duck shit, I need at least a hundred likes. Everybody who ain't smashed the like button, smash that shit. So we're gonna talk about this taste abs and FBG duck shit. And then we're gonna talk about the uh THFBA shit. Then we're gonna recap everything. Then at the end, we just gonna talk our shit. I might let four of them that I that I rock with come up on the panel. You know what I'm saying? Four of them that I rock with, I might let the ass come up here. We talk our shit. Or just any, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I see somebody who ain't on no troll and shit, you ain't even got to be folding them that I rock with. If I see somebody that's not on no troll and shit, goddamn it, I'm going to let you up here and we're going to talk our shit. I'm low-key in a good mood today. I'm low-key in a good mood today. Like, we probably, toward the end of the video, we might end up having an open panel. Hey, if y'all feel like I should have an open panel at the end of this, at the end when I'm done talking my shit, smash the like button. If y'all want me to have an open panel at the end of these topics, smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's about time I bring some people up here anyway, man. My son, it's about that time, you know. I'll be in here talking my shit. It's about time I bring some people up here let them talk their shit, man. Y'all, let look, y'all, let me know what y'all think. If y'all think I should have an open panel at the end of the topics, smash the like button. Let me see. Let me see how y'all feel about the open panel. Damn, y'all y'all don't want an open panel? Y'all don't want an open panel or y'all think I look if you think I should have an open panel, smash the light. Let me see. Let me see what y'all think. What y'all think, man? Alright, so look. Alright, all right, look, whatever. Hey, keep smashing the light. We finna get in this taste savage FBG duck shit. So look. Everybody know Tay Savage, she out here doing, everybody know Tay Savage, she out here doing uh, a lot of interviews and shit like that. Everybody know Tay Savage, he messed with J-Man hard. J-Man got the interview platform called Whoops, and Tay Savage is like a favorite on that. So, you know, during one of Tay Savage's most recent Whoops interviews, Jay Main asked Tay Savage what he think about the FBG Duck video or FB Duck being uh, uh FBG Duck, you know what I'm saying, being killed on camera by O Block and shit like that. So he asked Tay Savage what he think about that. And you know, Tay damn near was on some shit like Tay was on some shit like man. Tay was on some shit like, man, I've been seeing that shit. Like, I've seen that shit a million times. God damn it. Like, I'm low-key numb to the shit. I've seen so many people get killed on camera. I've seen so many people, you know what I'm saying, up their camera while a person on the floor dying that, like, you know, that shit, you know, it don't do nothing for me no more. And it's like, 
you know, J Main asked him like shit. So, you know, like J Main was on some shit like man. So, like even though you were saying the man time, so that man like that shit ain't do nothing for you. The the video of Duck getting killed by O Block on camera ain't do nothing for you. And you know, Tay Savage basically told J Main he like what I'm supposed to care because it's Duck. He like, am I supposed to care? He like, what I'm supposed to care because it's Duck? He like, shit. Like. Tay was on some shit like, look, bro, I done seen it a million times. It don't do nothing for me no more. Like, like, am I supposed to care or is it supposed to be different because it's duck? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, as you know, at the end of the day, Tay, he still, like, Tay is cool with the people who allegedly did the shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even though Tay be being his own man on some, like, I, you know, like, I'm cool with all the whole O block, but it's like at the same time, I'm still cool with Jay Man, who's technically on Duck Side. So technically, I'm cool with O block and Duck Side. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, like we, like you just seen uh, Tay Savage. He was at the party with Lil Reese and Chubbs, and and goddamn it, uh, Lil Steve when the when the crib just got started up. So it's like. Tay still actively be hanging with these people. He actively still actively still chill around these same people. So it's like, you know, for him to hop up on J Main interview and be like, man, yeah, bro, it's like shit. They they bogus. They shouldn't have killed Duck. You know what I'm saying? Duck was out here, you know what I'm saying, standing on business like FBG Duck. He was, you know, they shouldn't have killed him and shit like that. Like for him to hop up on the platform and like say some shit like that, that'll be a slap in the face. To his homies, as much as Tay Savage is being his own man and goddamn it, messing with any side that he want to mess with, like we just seen him with Billy and that black, even though Billy really from Westworld, and then you know he like got like just new relationship with J Man and shit like that, and then we seen him with Ruga, we seen him in the club with Ruga and shit like that, like you know at the end of the day. Like shit, you know, like for him to just take it, like, like overdo it, like for him to go overboard with it, like, yeah, Duck was my homie, you know what I'm saying? They shouldn't have killed him. If he hop up in an interview and say all that type of shit, that'll be like a slap in the face, you know? So, you know, when J Man asked him the question the second time, Tay Savage damn near slightly took it there with him and said, like, what I'm supposed to care because it's Duck. Is it supposed to be different because it's duck? I've been seeing millions of like I've seen a, a so many videos of people getting killed on camera that it don't do nothing for me no more. Is it supposed to do something for me now because it's duck? Because it's your homie and shit like. And I ain't even gonna lie, like you know, like if 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 Tay would have like took that tone and said that same shit with somebody else from that end who wasn't a pushover like J Man, it probably would have got hostile a little bit because it's like you know. The way that Tay said the shit, it's like it, a person could have took offense to that shit. For them say, am I supposed to care because it's duck? Is am I supposed to feel some type of way because it's duck? Because it's your homie, you know? Do the like I ain't gonna lie. I took my hat off to Jay Main for getting his money, running his numbers up, taking his family. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, uh, doing his thing. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, merchandise and his clothes. For them got merch. From them got whoops, you know. Like I took my hat off to J Main for all that shit. But as far as some street shit, as far like I like he, as much as J Main standing on business, like as far as running his numbers up, getting his money, taking care of his family and shit like that. As much as he standing on business in this area, as far as this area over here, like his ass seemed like his ass a pushover. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like you say anything to J Man. Like for God's sakes, you got a whole FBG duck tattoo on your fucking body. You know what I'm saying? And for folding them, you know, like I don't expect shit from J Man. I'm just saying, like you know, his ass, his ass soft as hell when it comes to certain shit. His ass like like a pussy when it comes to certain shit. His ass is a pushover, damn near ninety nine percent of the time. Like. It don't seem like it's nothing that J Man. Like I hope if somebody smacked the shit out of J Man kids in front of him, I hope he do something. Cause I ain't even gonna lie. Like the shit that J Man, the goddamn it vibe and the energy that J Man get off, give off. It make it seem like 
it don't matter what you do to him or say to him, he not going to do nothing. He's not going to defend himself as long as, God damn it, you know, like, you know, but like I said, bro, it's two aspects about J-Man. I respect the fact that J-Man is getting his money, taking care of his kids, running his numbers up, like putting his uh his FYB uh team on and shit like that. Whoops, God damn it. Uh, merchandise, like I respect all that shit. But it's like it's certain shit that's like about J-Man that I'll never be able to get behind, bro. Like phone the mask is a pushover in a lot of aspects, like with the Aunt Glizzy shit, his ass seemed like a pushover. It seemed like Aunt Glizzy low key hold him on Say Cheese platform with the FBG Young shit. You know, I mean, Young was speaking facts. You know what I'm saying? And J Main was low key getting mad about the shit, but it's like, I right, with that shit, you know, folding them like a few months back. His ass like, yeah, I'm bigger than Duck. I'm bigger than Duck. I ain't gonna lie, that shit. You know, that shit was distasteful as hell. Like, bro, you're not bigger than Duck. You know, you don't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. The, the only reason that a lot of people rock with J-Man is because he got the wave right now. He got the money, he got the clout, and he got the platform. But without that shit, nobody will rock with J-Man. You can say that for, about a lot of people. But it's like, you can't say that about everybody. Like, J-Man on his own is a non-factor. The only thing that's making J-Man a factor is, like, he running this shit up, he run his platform up, run his money up, all that shit. But now, you know, I'm saying all that to say the way that Tay Savage said that shit, it was like came off like slightly offensive. Like Tay Savage, like shit, what I'm supposed to care because it's duck? Like I done seen all these people die on camera, all these people up in camera with somebody on the ground. But since it's duck this time, I'm supposed to care. And it's like shit. I would have been like, look, bro, you ain't got to say it like that on phone them. Like, we on camera like shit. I, like, I got duct tied on my body. Like, what if I said, oh, Welch dying on the ground? A video came out. What I'm supposed to care because it's Welch? It's like, shit, you would be mad, right, if I said that like that, right? So, all right, bro, you ain't got to say it like that on phone. Like, J-Main ain't going to do that. Like, J-Main ain't going to, like, put the brakes on the, on the interview and be like, hold on, gang, you ain't got to say it like that, though. Like, you see what I'm saying? But it's like, you know. But um, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Shout out to Chase Evans, shout out to Jake, man. You know, like shit, you know, that shit was just, you know, definitely something that I wanted to talk about. Like that shit definitely, like I know I double take, I double, I double take hard to tell when uh Tay Savage said that shit. When Tay Savage said, like, what I'm supposed to care because it's duck? When I when it's different cause it's duck, cause it's your homie dying on the ground, that's what I'm supposed it's supposed to be different now. Like when Tate Savage said that shit, I was like, damn, he just kind of went crazy. And I ain't gonna lie. The initial thought in my head was like, J-Man, you ain't gonna say nothing. But then instantly after I said that in my head, I was like, hell no. Nah. I answered my own shit. I was like, hell no, nah, he ain't gonna say nothing. J-Man never says nothing. Like, like I, that's why I said what I said. I'm like, man, I would hope and pray that if somebody was to slap the shit out of J-Man's son in front of him, I hope that J-Man would do something. Because I ain't gonna lie. It's so many incidences where J Main just seems like he not on shit. His ass a pushover. You can say whatever to him. You can goddamn it say anything about his loved ones, and he ain't gonna do shit about the shit. You know, the only thing that I respect about J Main is the business side. Like for them actually standing on business as far as his numbers and his money and shit like that. That's what I respect about. But as far as anything street about J, like his ass, like I don't respect nothing. Like all that street shit that he sometimes like be trying to claim like yeah i'm from i'm from this and like i don't respect shit about that shit like that's like anything street about jay main don't register to me it don't register to me at all like anything gangster or street about jay main it don't register to me like just stay on your business side. Jay. And then i ain't gonna lie this gangster shit going down style anyway so jay main is on the right J Main is on the right path. Like he by his business, he by his money, because that's what it's about. All that gangster shit getting played out anyway. But just don't talk about that shit and just like, or if you do talk about that shit, just know people like me, you know what I'm saying, who really tapped into the shit, gonna see right through it. It's like we gonna laugh at your ass every time. Like, yeah, bro, you funny as hell. God damn it. 
you throwing up BD, you cracking the trades, you throwing up GD, you dropping GD, anything gangster. Like, you know, you saying you're going to do this, you're going to say you're going to do that. Like, ain't nobody honoring or respecting nothing gangster your ass got to say. But it's like, shit, you know, like you on the right path. Like, why would you want to just be on some gangster shit anyway? Like, for one, when we're not going to respect it. And for two, that shit is the uh gonna lead your ass to death death or in jail like we all know where that path leads you anyway so it's like you know you are like the world don't even look at j-man me and a big ass chunk of the world do not look at j-man as no gangster in no form of fashion you know so it's like for him to even attempt that shit, he'll be wasting his time but look you know that's that on that shit. we finna move on to the uh to uh, the THFBA situation, you know what I'm saying? But before we move on to the THFBA situation, we got 155 people in the building. Everybody who ain't smashed the like button, go on ahead and smash it so we can get back to this content. We got 155 people in the building. We at least need 140 likes, man. Everybody who ain't smashed the like button, go on ahead and smash it so we can get back to this content. I'm ready to talk my shit about this THFDA situation. Shout out to everybody who smashed it already. At this point, we just waiting on the people who ain't smashed the like button on my sons so we can get back to the content. We ready to talk our shit now. We ready to talk our shit. At this point, we just waiting on y'all. And if y'all want me to open the panel toward the end of this live, once we're done with the topics, Smash the like button. That'll be y'all way of telling me if I should open the panel for everybody, you know what I'm saying, for, you know, anybody who not trolling to come up here. Anybody who not trolling, my son, let me know if y'all think I should open the panel up for people to come up here and we talk our shit together. My son, let me know what y'all think. If you think I should open the panel towards the end of the live, smash the like button. If you think I shouldn't open the panel towards the end of the live, you know what I'm saying? Just don't do nothing. But uh yeah, man. Shout out everybody who smashed the like button. At this point, we just waiting on the people who ain't smashed the like button. So we can get back talking our shit. We're gonna talk about this THFDA situation. Y'all already know we in the building, man. Shout out to everybody, keep putting up. We ain't here talking our shit. We air day with this shit. We air day with this shit, man. Okay, so okay, low key, y'all want me to open the panel? All right, all right. Look, we finna get back into. We finna talk about this THFDA situation. God damn it, we finna get back to the content. But everybody who like ain't hit the like button, keep liking that shit. Go on ahead, like it, stand on business. Y'all keep smashing that shit. But, uh, all right, man. So, look, THFBA, man. So, look, man, in 2013, THFBA was convicted. Was a so boom. In 2013, around New Year's, THFBA was accused of chasing a man down and fatally shooting him and his ass ended up getting charged with the murder of a, of a man on new year's eve they saying thfba chased a man down and fatally shot him and shit like that so he got charged with it and he ended up getting convicted of it and he was given 55 years back in 2013 basically 2014 because it was new year's eve of 2013 so basically 2014 so look it just came out that in 2024 that thfba was wrongfully convicted thfba has been released from prison after doing 10 years on a 55 year sentence and it's being said that his ass was wrongfully convicted he was never supposed to be in jail he just did 10 years he just did 10 years in prison 10 years of his life in prison for a crime that he didn't commit now i don't know about y'all but i smell a big ass lawsuit like i smell a fat ass lawsuit if it is it just me or or do y'all smell a big ass like on my son i smell a big ass lawsuit jg wentworth is my money and i need it now ain't no way in hell Y'all, and I ain't even gonna lie, like shit. 
uh, THF Drew or Lil Dirk, somebody needs to give this man a bag because this man stayed in jail 10 years for a crime that he didn't do and he didn't turn, he ain't do what Trey Fire did. He ain't do what old Block Los is going to do. His ass ain't, God damn it, you see what I'm saying? So look, but before we get into all that, let's talk about, before we get in, before we talk about the bag that Dirk or Zeus should give to him, let's talk about the bag that the state of Illinois about to give to him because I ain't even going to lie. This man needs a multi-million dollar check. Because mind you, he need a multi-million dollar check and everybody that was involved in this case needs to lose their job. Mind you, Fulham just did 10 years. Fulham got sentenced to 55 years. He did 10. Now it just came out that he ain't even do the shit. So Fulham just did 10 years for a crime that he ain't even do. That's 10 years that I didn't get to be in my child life. That's 10 years that I had to be in jail, goddammit, uh, miserable as hell, goddammit, not making no money, not making no progress in my life, having to be around, goddammit, men, the, and you know what I'm saying? Men, like nothing but men, you know what I'm saying? People in here dying. I'm pretty sure like people, COVID happened while phone them survived COVID in jail. COVID happened while he was in jail. A hell of inmates died during the COVID shit. I heard that people was dying left and right during that COVID shit. So it's like, I heard people was dying left and right from that COVID shit. Man, hold on. My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. Look, I heard people was dying left and right from that COVID shit when that COVID shit happened in jail. So it's like, this man, you got to think about it. Pivotal moments, pivotal ass moments. Like my son and my daughter could have graduated high school or graduated middle school, or my son and my daughter probably had their first steps or uh, said their first word. Like, I ain't get to be there for my kids. I ain't get to make no money. My girl probably out there fucking my homies and shit like that. Like, and this all y'all fault. I mean, her, I, we ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying, her fucking my homies is y'all fault. But all that other shit, though, on my son, like, like I missed it. I wasn't making no money. God damn it. God damn it. It's so much shit. So look. Y'all smash the like button if y'all feel like THFBA need a fat ass check from the state of Illinois. If y'all feel like THFBA need a fat ass check from the state of Illinois, smash the like button right now. Cause I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, and and when I say a fat ass check, I'm talking about a multi million dollar check. Like not one million, not two million. God damn it, at least ten or better. Five between five and ten. On my son, phone them need between five and ten million dollars. You can't put a price on this type of shit, but I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna say like a few M. Phone them need multi million dollar check. And hold on, everybody that was involved, everybody that was involved, from the judge to the jury to the DA to the prosecutor, all the way down to the arresting officer. I feel like. The to the judge need to lose his job. Whichever judge that was on that case need to lose their job. The prosecutor need to lose their job. The goddamn it, police officer need to lose their job. Goddamn it, uh, you know everybody that I was involved in that shit. Like y'all all played a part in this man being wrongfully convicted, losing 10 years of his, wrongfully losing 10 years of his life. Y'all out here playing with people's lives. Y'all out here handing this. Yeah, bro. Yeah, shout out my boy, Kali Vega. My boy said a million dollars for every year. Fulham just did 10 years. Fulham was wrongfully convicted and then lost 10 years of his life. Did 10 years in prison for some shit that he ain't do. So you know what? We're going to release him from prison and we're going to get him from a million dollars for every year that he was in jail. My son, bro, like, this is like the type of shit. Like, y'all out here playing with people live. Y'all out here throwing out, giving out 20 years like it's candy. Y'all giving out 30 years like it's candy. Y'all ain't never did a day in jail, but y'all giving out 20 years like it's nothing. 30 years like it's nothing. Like, 
whole trying to judge need to lose their job. All the police, the arresting officer need to lose their job. The prosecutor need to lose their job. Everybody that was involved need to lose their job. And this man needs a fat ass check. JG Wentworth is my money and I need it now. Where my bitches? Where my money on my son? Where my shit at? I need my bread. Give me my damn money on my son. Y'all that bogus as hell. But um, yeah, man. Hey, look. Shout out, to, shout out my boy. Shout out my boy Kali in the building. Shout out my boy. I am the one in the building. Y'all already know what's going on. We ain't here talking that shit. We got 180 people in the building. We at least lead 160 likes. Everybody who ain't smashed the like button, go ahead and smash that shit so we can get back to this content. We finna do a recap of all the topics real quick. And then, I'm, you know what I'm saying? If, if this shit go how I want it to go, if this shit go good, I'm finna put the link in the description. I'm finna let all the phone numbers come up here and we finna talk our shit together. My son, y'all think I should open the panel so we can come up here and talk out. Y'all can come up here and talk y'all shit with me. Smash the like button. But before we get back into the content, I need everybody to smash that ain't smash the like button to smash that shit. We got 200 people in the building. We at least need 175 likes so we can get back to this content. Shout out to everybody who smashed the like button. At this point, we're just waiting on the people who ain't smashed the like button so we can get back to this content, man. So we can talk our shit, man. My son, I'm ready to talk my shit. I'm ready to do this recap. I'm ready to drop this link. So if you ain't smash the like button, go on ahead and smash it so we can go on ahead and talk our shit so I can get so I can get y'all up here and we can talk our shit together, man. Look, we air day with this shit, man. Y'all already know what's going on, man. We in the building. Let's see how y'all come. Let's see how y'all coming real fast. Let's see how y'all coming, man. My boy Quan Porter in the building. Kali, Chronic Gore. All right. So look, let's do Hey, look, I'm finna get back to the content. Shout out everybody smashing. Everybody who ain't smashing, go ahead and smash it. Y'all keep standing on business. But look, I'm about to go ahead and do this quick recap. So look, man. 051 Melly was cool with somebody named Dre Lord. And you know what I'm saying? Like, they both were slime balls. Dre Lord was back doing shit. Melly was back doing shit. They both, they like shooting dice together. They get money together. They hit licks together. Probably going to hit together. All type of shit. But look, and then both of them had some money on their head. Dre Lord had some money on his head. And Melly had some money on his head. Dre Lord probably had like 5 to 10K on his head. Melly had a whole honey bun on his shit. Melly had a hundred about on his shit. So if anything, you would think that Dre Lord would have took Melly out and got that honey bun. But look. You know what I'm saying? It went the other way. God damn it. Melly, little brother Wu, ended up going to jail. And Melly needed the money to bond him out of jail, which is surprising that Melly had to uh, do what he did to get the money to get Wu out of jail. Because usually when an 051 young money member go to jail and they get a bond, they come at home. But for some reason, you know, money wasn't on hand this time and Wu was sitting in jail. So Melly had to do something to get the money. So Melly took a ride with. Dre Lord and, and some girl named Fun Size, Melly and Dre Lord got out the car, got them and went in the alley. A whole bunch of shots went off. Melly ran back to the car. Fun Size was like, damn, what was all them shots? Melly told Fun Size, like, shit, I need the money to get my little brother out of jail. Melly went and cashed out and cashed, got the money from the person who put the money on Dre Lord's head and went and got his little brother 051 Wu out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said in the beginning of this live, ain't no honor among Steve. You know, like shit, it would be like, you know, let me know what y'all think in the comments. That Melly is Melly bogus for killing Dre Lloyd, you know, and sliming out his homie, or did Melly do what he had to do to get his little brother out of jail? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. All right, as far as the Tay Savage and FBG Duck video, you know, Tay Savage, he on FYBJ main platform. J Main asked uh, Tay Savage what he thought about the. Uh, uh, video of Doug getting killed on camera, and you know, Tay Savage basically said he done seen a million, he's seen a million times people get killed on camera. He numb to the shit, it really don't do nothing for him. J Man asked him a second time, like, man, so it don't do nothing for you that how FBG Doug got killed on camera by O Block. And Tay Savage, like, shit, what, like, what, am I supposed to care because it's Doug? I done seen this shit a million times. Is it supposed to be different because it's uh, 
Epic G Duck is because it's your homie and shit like it's supposed to be different. And you know, you know, Tay Sav, you know, he's still cool with the he cool with the people who did the shit. You know, what I'm saying? he put Tay Sav's got a rare position in this shit. He cool with this side and he cool with this side, you know. But the way he said that shit, like if it was anybody else besides Jay Main who wasn't just a pushover like that, it would I feel like it would have got kind of hostile. I feel like, you know, at the very least. A, a person would have been like, all right, bro, you ain't got to say it like that. Like, shit, like, you know, I got a whole tattoo, a duck on my you know, on my body type shit. Like, you know, like, you, I feel you, what you're saying, but you ain't got to say all that shit. Like, you damn near kind of going on me and my, and my homie, my homie who not here no more. Like, like, I, right, you know, it ain't do nothing for you, but you ain't got to, you ain't got to go all crazy shit like that. Like, at least say that shit or whatever. But, you know, due to the fact that it was J-Man, I wasn't surprised, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't surprised that uh, Jay Main ain't say nothing and shit like that. You know, like Jay Main, he stand on business when it come to his numbers, his money, his family, and his kids. But when it come to any gangster shit, he do not stand on business. And there's been so many examples and incidents of that shit that I don't even expect for him to stand on business. So when the conversation just kept going without missing a beat after Chase ever said that shit, I wasn't even surprised, you know, because look who it is. It's Jay Main, like shit. Like anybody around here, like, yeah, J Main this, J Main the gangster. Like, y'all last is uh shooting up uh heroin or some shit. Like, I don't know what y'all last talking about. Like, dude ass is a straight civilian. You know, uh he's not, not on the crumb. But uh yeah, man, Taysa. And then uh, the other thing about Chase Savage is like shit, you know, if he was gonna get on camera and be like, man, they bogus, they shouldn't have killed Duck and all this shit, that would have been like a slap in the face. To his homies, like he's still cool with them. He still he still hang with O blocking them to this day. But um, uh, all right, that's that on that shit. As far as THFBA, you know what I'm saying? Phone them back in 2014, his ass was convicted of the New Year's Eve killing of a uh of uh his ass was convicted of 2014 killing of a man, you know what I'm saying? And you know, he was given 55 years. Ten years later, in 2024, he just been released and just found out that he was wrongfully convicted and he never did nothing. He just did ten years in prison for some shit that he ain't that he ain't even do. I don't know about y'all, but I smell a lawsuit. I smell a fat ass lawsuit on my son. Like you know, uh, I smell a fat ass lawsuit, and I feel like you know, THFBA is about to get paid. THL, you know what I'm saying? It'll never, you know what I'm saying, make up for the 10 years he just lost, but it's the least that y'all ass could do. My son. What my boy Kali say, he said, get that man a million for every year that he sat in jail. He need 10 million. But my boy said he'll settle for five. I ain't mad at five. On my son, I ain't mad at five. But look, you know, and then everybody need to lose their job from the judge, the prosecutor, all the way down to the arresting officer. Y'all folks is here. Y'all out here playing with people live. This man ain't get to see his son first words, his son first step. His ass ain't get to see his son graduate middle school. His ass ain't get to make no money for the last 10 years. And his ass had to be around nothing but grown ass, thinking ass men for the last 10 years. And he ain't even do nothing. So the prosecutor need to lose his job. The, um, the uh judge need to lose his job and the arresting officer need to lose his job. Y'all last out here giving out 20 years like it's nothing. Y'all giving 30 years away like it's candy. And y'all last ain't never did a day in jail y'all self. Y'all last ain't never did a day in jail, but y'all giving away 20 years like it's candy. Y'all judge needs to not be a judge no more. DA can't be a DA no more. Prosecutor can't be a prosecutor no more. And that officer can't be an officer no more. Give that man his money. It's JG Wentworth and it's my money and I need it now. But uh hey look, we got 200 people in the building. Before we get into the uh content, before we get back to the content, you know, everybody who ain't smashed the like button, smash, go ahead, smash that shit so we can get back to the content and finish talking our shit. Shout out to everybody who smashed the like so far. At this point, we just waiting on the other people who ain't smashed the like button. We just waiting on y'all. My son, if y'all feel like if y'all want me to drop the link right now and open the panel up for y'all to come up here and talk y'all shit with me, smash the like button. If y'all y'all smashing the like button would be y'all telling me, yeah, open the panel so I come up there. But if y'all feel like I shouldn't open the panel and shit like that, just don't do nothing at all. But uh, 
Let me see how y'all coming, man. Let me see how y'all come. Shout out to everybody who smashed it already. At this point, we're just waiting on the people who ain't smashed it yet. Shout out everybody in, shout out everybody in the building, too. Y'all already know what's going on. Y'all already know what's going on in the building. Let me see how y'all coming, man. All right. Let's see. All right, man. Link is in the chat, man. Link is in the chat. Anybody want to come up here talk our shit? You know, we are damn near recap the the. We are damn near recap these topics together. You know, I'm a you know talk my shit on there. You can talk your shit on there, and you know what I'm saying. We got damn it. Uh, you know, you can be up on the panel. We talk our shit together about the topics at hand and shit like that. And we could damn near stir off into some other shit. We could talk about some personal shit. It ain't even gotta be the topics. But like I would definitely, we if anything, we we should talk our shit about the topics first. And then we can go off into like some personal shit on some just kicking the shit and just kicking the bobos type shit, you know. But uh yeah, man, the link is definitely in the chat. My son, y'all already know what's going on. We in the building. We air day with this shit. We back to back with this shit. Y'all already know what's going on. And we dropping three more times today. We dropping four times today, this being the first. And then, you know, whenever we get off of hell, we're going to drop three more times today. We air day with this shit, man. Y'all already know. We're from every day we lit. You can't tell me shit. Remember, I was broke on my son. We air day with this shit, man. Y'all already know what's going on. Talking about shit. Look, everybody, look, we got 180 people in the building. Everybody who ain't smashed the like button, go ahead and smash that shit, you know, so we can get back to the content. Shout out to people who already smashed the like button. At this point, we just waiting on the people who ain't smashed it yet, man. We in the building, man. I already know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on, man. We in here, bro. The link is in the, 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 link is in the chat, man. Anybody who want to, God damn it, come up here and talk y'all shit with me, just click that link, come up here, I'm going to talk our shit, man. Y'all already know what's going on. Y'all already know what's going on, man. We in the building, man. Definitely in the building. If we make it to an hour, so boom, it's 52, we at, we at the 53-minute mark. If we make it to an hour and ain't nobody come up here yet or ain't nobody click the link yet, God damn it, we just going to get up out of here and we'll just do that shit another day. But the, the, the panel is definitely open and this shit ain't never been open. <laughs> My son, panel ain't never been open. This the first time the panel is open. I ain't never opened the panel before, but it's like shit. You know, I feel like we can, you know, that's something that we should start doing. I feel like some that's something that we should start doing and shit like that. We being here deep, we being here having hella people. Like right now, we're 175 people in the building. Like shit, I feel like that'll make it more interesting. You know what I'm saying? And then that's another another way to get the people involved. You know, that's another way for us to engage each other and shit like that. Make it more interesting. Get everybody involved. Everybody talk that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like it be you know that type of environment and shit. But uh. Yeah, man. So if anybody, hold on, let me go see real fast. Let me go see some. Let me go see some real fast. Let me go see some real quick. I so yeah. Let me see. Okay, so yeah. 
and you actually don't have to. And I figured that. I figured, like, even though it's on members only mode, even even though it's on members only mode, you don't have to be a member to join the panel. Like you have to be a member to comment in the chat, but you don't gotta be a member to join the panel. So it's like shit. Anybody can hop up here. Member, non-member, it don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't uh actually have to be a member to join the chat and shit like that. But uh yeah, man. Hold on, let me let me go. Let me go drop the link one more time just in case you know a person probably missed it or whatever. Yeah, and anybody can join the panel, man. Definitely anybody can join the panel. We ain't had deep as hell. Let me see. I don't even be. I don't even be opening the panel for people to join. I feel like, all right, that could be something that you know, it'd be like a new addition, like a new feature. It's like a brand new feature to this shit. Nah, you already good, Kylie, my boy. I know you be out there getting to that bag, man. I know you be checking the bag and shit like that. So it's like shit. You know, I already know how you come. Oh, damn. They got me on this incognito shit. Turn that shit off. Truth tellers just upload a picture of like an updated photo of Big Wani, man. Look at Big Wani. They got Big Wani in jail, man. Look, this is like an updated. Damn, what the hell? It's like an updated picture of Big Wani in jail, bro. Like I said, we at 56. Damn, that finna be 57. If we make it to 60 minutes, if we make it to an hour and ain't nobody came up on the panel, we gonna get up out of here. Like, I really was gonna extend this shit. We probably gonna stay here to like an hour 15, hour and 20 minutes. Or whatever somebody came up here but you know once we get to an hour we can deal our hour and we're gonna get up out of here but uh you know if somebody come up here he said i just spent a hell of money on my son first day hey man shout out to you and your son man happy birthday to your son bro my son but uh yeah man Y'all already know, man. Shit. If anything, we're gonna pull up tomorrow. Y'all know I go back and forth from CSP to CSP clip. So, you know, tomorrow we're we're gonna pull up on CSP clips. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna talk our shit. And you know, if everything go good and shit like that, I'll drop the link again. Yeah, man, you already know my boy. Everything go good tomorrow. I'll drop the link again. And you know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, of course, after all, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all know me. I, I stand on business. I go in order with this shit. So if anything, I'm gonna get my content out the way first. I'm gonna get my content out the way. And once I get, got them get to like the 45 minute, damn that 50 minute mark, I probably got, got all my content out the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop the link and shit like that. But uh, yeah, man, y'all already know what's going on, man. Shout out to everybody who pulled up. Make sure y'all smash the like, say what number y'all live. Make sure y'all drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. I need everybody, before y'all leave up out of here, for one, I need y'all smash the like. For two, before y'all leave, go in the description, go all the way to the top of the description and click that link. CSP goes to World with Blog. It's episode three. Click that shit. Run that shit up, my son. Run that shit through the roof, you know. And then you already know, make sure y'all mess with all the links in the description. You know, all the way down to my Instagram. Make sure y'all follow me on IG, the official CSP one. Then y'all already know. Make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merchandise. Shout out to all the females. They ass is going crazy on the OTM merchandise. I ain't even gonna lie. Like if it was a contest between the females and the males and OTM purchases, who was winning? It'll be the female. Y'all already know I got my red face on today. Look, I got all this damn red on, so you know what I'm saying? Red, you know what I'm saying? You know, I had to wear my red face today because I got all this red on and shit like that. And for the people who wonder, are ground, what's some things in your mouth? They call Invisalign. You ever heard of Invisalign? You ever heard of traditional braces? You got traditional braces, and then you got something called Invisalign. Invisalign is basically brace clear, see through braces. Invisalign is braces that's like, 
it's like a uh non-conventional braces and shit like that on my son so it's like yeah bro anybody out there woofing like man this man got what's like no it's called invisalign i had to pay six thousand dollars for these shits my son paid they ass three thousand dollars up front and then i paid three hundred dollars for the next 10 months i think like the next 10 months three hundred dollars a month for the next 10 months and shit like that but uh yeah, for anybody out there wondering, like, damn, D, what's these things on your teeth? April 30th, I'm done. April 30th, April 30th, they finna give me my retainers. You know what retainers is? Retainers is, goddammit, now that your teeth have been pushed in the position, retainers are, we're gonna give you your retainers, and what they gonna do? They gonna retain the position. The aligners push your teeth into place, and goddammit, the retainers maintain the position. Hence the word retainer is gonna retain the position and shit like that. So yeah, yeah, bro. Like if you wondering, like damn, what the hell? These are Invisalign. These shit's expensive as hell. But yeah, bro. But uh, oh damn, you gonna hop on, gang? Look, we just hit the one hour mark. I was gonna get up out of here, gang. But now nah, look, I ain't gonna lie. If you finna, if you finna hop on, go on here, hop on. You know what I'm saying? I guess I probably. Kick the bobos on here with you for probably like 10, 15 minutes because you said you about to get up out of here anyway. We'll do a quick recap. We'll talk about some, you know what I'm saying, personal shit or whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying, we're going to get up out of here. But uh, look, I'm, I'm going to give you a look. I'm going to give you probably a few minutes to go on here. God damn it. Take care of what you got to take care of. And, you know, I don't know if you know how to get on here, but you got to click the link. You got to click the link, my boy. The link probably like a few comments back. There's like a few comments back. You gotta scroll up a little bit. They said he wearing a mouth guard like the basketball players. Get y'all bitch ass out of here on my son. Y'all laugh some goofy. I ain't gonna lie, man. I crush it. Both of them talking about you ugly and not you know I'll take your any bitch that you can fuck, I can fuck them ten times. Fuck you talking about like yo ass and then I don't even wanna fuck no bitch that you fuck. Yo ass got STDs, all type of shit. But look, this man talking about I'm ugly. Boy, don't you know the shit that I said about you? The shit that you said about me is like ain't like do you hear what I'm saying to you? So for you to come back and say what you saying to me, boy, it's like your ass is like you not doing nothing. Like on my son, bro, like you must can't comprehend. Like I'm I'm saying I'm destroying your ass. Like the shit that I said to you is like it ain't no comparison, bro. You was a high school ass kid. Like you want some high. I'm on some grown man shit. You want some little kid shit. Oh, he ugly. I just said some real life shit about your ass. And don't forget that shit I said about your daddy and your mama. My son, don't forget that shit. Look, on my son, you saying some high school shit. I'm saying real life shit. We got real life evidence of your ass being a sexual offender. Your ass being a, you mess with children. On my son, your ass traumatized the little boy and the little boy killed himself you made a little boy give you head your ass touched a little girl when she was 16 years old on oh, my son your ass is a predator you is a pedophile i'm saying i'm 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 shedding light on real life shit about your ass and all oh, you can come back oh he ugly like i right, whatever on oh, my son and you know I ain't, I ain't even gonna uh go back and forth with you on that shit because we already know two behind that shit Yo ass, yeah, bro, like on my son. So it's like, yeah, bro. And then you ain't, look, last night, I caught you live last night. Look, bro, last night, you ain't say shit about that shit I said about your daddy and your mama. You came on live and said that your daddy raped your mama when she was like 13 and she got pregnant and had you. I called your ass a rape baby. Your ass said your dad raped your mama when she was 13 and she had you. You ain't say nothing about that. I guess that shit was a little too strong for your ass. I guess you was mad. You probably mad at yourself. Like, man, I ain't, man, come on, bro. Like, ain't nobody making shit up about you, my boy. 
Ain't nobody making shit up about you. These is all facts. You need to shut. You talk too much. You 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 airing out your own. You the one who giving me the ammo. You giving me the ammo. The ammo about you messing with kids is all over the internet. But the ammo about your daddy raping your mama and she getting pregnant and having you. You gave me that. You gave me that shit. So it's like yeah, bro. You know. Like on my son, bro, like I ain't gonna lie, bro. You want some little kid shit. I'm out here on some grown man shit. I'm saying real life shit about your ass. You like, oh, you ugly. Oh, this, oh, your face. Oh, your jewelry fake. On my son, bro, like, look, wait, where you at? You on here, Goofy Dude? Oh, no, no, that's my boy. My boy on here. Hey. What's look, up, Wade? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up, man? Look, man, hey, man, it's everybody. crazy, bro, because I didn't even know hey, you got the hey, same shout my boy Kali. Shout out my boy Kali in the building, man. Y'all already know what's, what's going up, on. Y'all, what's up, man? Out here, chilling. 188 people in the building. Make sure y'all see like Sacramento, it, Sacramento, California right now. Look, my bro. boy out there living life, man. I seen you on live probably like two weeks ago. You was on there with three bad bitches. I was like, damn, oh, my, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my son, I was like, my boy out there, he's doing his thing, he's standing on business. Yeah, yeah, for sure was, bro. They was having a uh, crazy conversation. They was talking about like download niggas and all this weird ass shit. But bro, yeah, I swear yeah. to God, you remind me of my brother, bro. You and my brother got the same birthday, bro. On me, bro, I be feeling like little shit. You stand, I be like, I remind me just like my brother. Real shit, right. like you be I saying some wise wisdom type shit. Speaking with knowledge, you don't just be saying any old type of shit, and you know what you' talking about. That's why I respect you and your platform. Yeah, smart, I've been fucking with you for a couple years now, man. Like Look. when it comes to this information, you the uh, minister of information, man. Like I come to you for fact checking, all type of shit. There's only certain yeah, platforms not. I fuck with, bro. Hey, now nah, side, side to you, side to your brother too, man. You say he's, he eleven sixteen. Oh no no no! It was uh the fourteenth. I thought of yours on the fourteenth. It's right there. Oh, okay okay, we, we basically damn there. We same shit basically. Uh, most yeah, time my shit. oldest brother, the one that passed away. Oh, yeah, man, I ran into this nigga the other day at the cannabis club. This nigga was like, he was like saying old phone him, and I'm like, bro, you from Chicago? He's like, yeah, man. And he was just chopping it up and shit. I said, man, I fuck with all them niggas. I I fuck with Duck. I fuck with G Herbo, Dirk. He was like, fuck them niggas. <laughs> like the way he said it, it was so cold. But I had to look, I looked this shit up. And I found out Nooski from like Face World 79. So I'm like, oh, okay, because that nigga was dissing them niggas hella hard. Because wow. I don't even be knowing the politics. I just know a little bit off of what I be looking at and shit. But man, wow. I gotta come out there, man, because my brother was telling me about um, downtown Chicago. He said it was so beautiful. I was so mad. I was, Bro, I was, it's like it's like the city got two names. It got it got the name for being the right. like over treacherous and being it's a, it's a whole nother beautiful side of the city that don't get talked about for real. Like downtown, yeah. the lakefront, like it's just like it's really two sides to the city. It's the beautiful side, then you got the treacherous side, bro. And the only shit that side that gets talked about is the treacherous side, bro. Like a lot of people don't even know like about the lakefront and the downtown. It's like that shit. It's just it's just a it's just a uh, it's just a dope ass experience. Like being on the lakefront, being downtown. That's why I was so crazy that that shit happened to Duck. You know what I'm saying on the Gold Coast and shit like that. Like right. Like that shit, you know, it's it's broad as hell down there on Oak Street, all the, the Gucci stores, Dolce and Gabbana and all that shit. Like Man, you, that shit that, crazy, that bro. I didn't even know girl. That's type of like place you take your girl and just like, you know, y'all just walk and then oh my son, smoke a blunt, goddamn it, all that shit. You probably gotta be cool because 12 out there on bullshit, but it's like it's definitely right. like some shit that you could, you know, experience by yourself or take your old lady. You see what I'm saying? Like Oh, that yeah, shit, bro. Down there is lovely. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, that's hey. why these niggas be getting mad at me, bro. My son, they they to be mad. I, I seen you in the comments about uh how you say you was unscribed from Goofy Dude. I feel I feel like all they ass should unsubscribe from Goofy Dude because I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's so much evidence on the internet about this man being a pedophile, bro. Like I didn't know. I used to be showing love to him. And then one day his ass DM me 
and I ain't respond to the shit. But whole time, the reason I ain't respond to the shit is because of all that goofy shit I've seen about him on the end. I'm like, bro, I ain't, I ain't want to be associated with that shit. But uh, exactly, that shit weird, bro. Like, yeah, and ain't gonna lie, bro. you be knowing, like, you be finding shit out, some shit everybody don't know. I'll be like, this nigga be investigating for real on me. Yeah, <laughs> Like, like, you be on your shit, bro. expose the motherfuckers. That's that. That shit crazy, bro. Like that shit, and you know what's so crazy? This shit been on the internet for years, bro. Like it's so many people saying the same shit about dude there. So it's like, bro, this what I'm saying is everybody lying on you, bro. Like what the? Yeah. I don't even know these people. That everybody, they all us come together and be like, we finna make up this conspiracy. Like hell no, nah, bro. It's a saying that's where there's smoke, there's fire. So you telling me that it's all this smoke, but it ain't no fire. Like bro, you did something. You did. You did, you, you did hey, look, something, bro. I only fuck with them channels because of you, Jeff City, Bandana Rose, uh, even um, um, uh, loyalty and betrayal. I didn't like that shit when she was on there laughing and shit. Like, what the fuck you laughing at? You know, I didn't, I didn't disrespect her, but I felt like only reason I know about her because of you shouting her out. And then she on this bitch laugh. She talking about what well, them accusations got to have proof of. So everybody lying. That's why I was like, you can put two and two together. I just didn't like that shit. Like, what the fuck is you laughing at? And this nigga got shit on his case. This nigga fucking with kids. Yeah, and you right on some high school shit. This internet goofy shit, like, it don't even make sense. This is yeah, real. Real. I ain't gonna lie. The shit that he trying to say is like so high school, like, like phoning them like, oh, you ugly and you all the whole time, bro. Do you see the shit that like you on some high school shit? We on some real life shit. Like you you on some like oh you ugly and all this shit. Do you, did you hear the shit that's like that I'm saying? You do you hear the shit that I'm saying though? Like and you he, saying yeah. I'm ugly. We oh, only know that nigga when he uh, was um we went viral hating on that nigga GMEB bands and shit. Somebody not from his hood. Who gives a fuck? Who you on your hood looking yeah. dirty, fucked up? But then want to talk all this shit like you got to see people in real life. Come on, and, man. Know, you beating up your baby mama. You beating up your baby mama. You taking TVs. Hey, hold on. This is my boy, Guan Porter. Dirty, dirty ass. <laughs> like, I ain't you, beating up, hey. you beating up your baby mama. Hey, everybody shout out my boy, Quan, Quan in the building, man. What's up, Quan? Shout Yo. out, Quan. Yo, what y'all on? Shit, chilling. Look, man. This is him talking about the goofy dude. Goofy dude. Oh, I just his ass a fucking flat on my son. Hey, no, I ain't gonna lie, fool. I feel like I feel like I'm stepping on him harder than anybody else. Cause it seemed like a lot of people they scared to, to go at him a little bit because of he a damn near like make his whole life about you. He'll make his whole life about you. And I ain't gonna lie, I feel him too, cause like Shit, dude ass will make his whole life about you. He won't do nothing else but make videos about you. But I ain't gonna lie, fool. Like, this shit need to be done. It need to be done. Like, his neck need to be stepped on, bro. Like, and you know, like, shit, it is what it is. Like, whole time, a lot of people been put that pedophile shit about him. But whole time, a lot of people ain't never said nothing about this man went live one time and was like, yeah. My dad raped my mama when I was 13 and she got pregnant and had me. I ain't gonna lie. If this dude was my little homie, I would have told him to shut the fuck up. Cause like, bro, you giving ammunition to the people that's against you. And bro, you into so so due to the fact I'm into it right now, I'm finna use the own ammunition he gave me. He already gave me his ammunition. And like right. I said, condo condolences to his mom. I hate that that happened to her, but it's like shit. Like at the end of the day, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Yo, dad raped your mama. You grew up and raped these kids on my son. So it's like. And then, bro, this these allegations of you raping these kids, boys and little girls, this shit been on the internet for years from multiple different sources. So is everybody lying? So you telling me all this smoke is in the room, but it ain't no fire? Like, you did something, bro. Like, yo, they talking about Facebook messages. They got your Facebook account and the little boy Facebook account. This man got on live, guilty as hell. Like, I ain't never do nothing to take K. I'm like, damn, I ain't know the little boy name. Now we, look, now we know his name. His ass, guilty as hell. Like, I, he calling his baby mama 
Like, baby mama, tell him I ain't do nothing to take care. So ho, he on the phone, mad as hell. Like his baby mama, like she did something. And then she better not say shit. Cause if she knew about the shit, then she's just as guilty as you. I'm fucking them like, so it's like, but hoes, like, 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 that shit is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That should be funny as hell. Like I watched dude that live last night. I was laughing and so I'm like, dude, that's funny as hell. He doing all this talking. He doing all of this, and he not getting none of this. Like y'all know, we back monetized. We would be monetized for like three months, but we back now. So all this, even with y'all right now, y'all on this bitch with me, nigga. I'm doing all this talking. I ain't even doing too much talking, but I'm like the talking that I am doing. I'm getting paid for the shit. You doing all of this and not getting none of this. Your ass a fucking goofy. And your ass dirty as hell, my son. And all your bloggers, homies, is taking stuff back. Now that this information is out on the bit, because I, like I said, this shit been out for years, but I'm probably like the biggest platform to put it out. So now that I'm putting this shit out on my big platform, it's, it's getting the way it need to get. And all your blogger homies is taking steps back. They are taking steps. Because who want to be associated with that shit? Don't nobody want to be affiliated with that shit? Like, and all the people who stay affiliated with that shit, we know what we need to know about them too. Like, y'all last is some, y'all with that shit. My son, y'all is with that shit. But, yeah, man. That's, I have fun with this shit. I ain't even going to lie to you, boo. Like, his ass That's talking bad. about I played with the wrong person. He don't even know. Like, boy, nigga, you ain't seen me getting to it with them and all these other. Like, you supposed to take notes. Like, all right, he got into it with food and them. He got into it with old uh, old girl. He got into it with food and them homies. Like, bro, everybody I got into it with, I make one video and crush their ass. Like, bro, you talking about you. You talking about you. Like, your ass is a fucking goofy. Like, and you not getting no money for this shit. At least the talk that I'm doing, I'm getting paid for it, bro. My son, and I got real members on this show. I got my boy Kylie been rocking for years. Got my boy Quan Porter been rocking for years. I wish Dream Dog was on here. Hey, Kylie, remember we was talking to Dream Dog that day? We was talking about Gemini's and all type of shit. I wish Dream Dog was on this bitch. Bring her up here. Because she said she ain't know. Like, the same shit that all us, like, we all was in the same boat game. We ain't know, like, I was rocking with him. I think Kylie was rocking with him. Dream Dog was rocking with him. I think a lot of people over here was rocking. But we was all in the same boat, fool. Ain't none of us know. Ain't none of us know that this man had this shit on his name. Like, I, I damn sure ain't know. If I knew, I would have never been saying shout out Jap City TV. I would have never been saying shout out Bad Down the Road. Like, his right. ass, you know. Man, that shit's shit. disgusting, man. I had to cut my own cousin off for that weird ass shit. So it is what it is. I ain't even know what I was talking about. I, I had to look it up. I said, What? Look, man. That's grown ass women. Money makes sense. Come on, bro. All these grown ass women out here. All this grown ass pussy out here. All these fine Great. ass females out here. And you messing with little boys. <laughs> <laughs> he got a whole complex, bro. Like he probably was touched on or some weird ass shit. I don't know. Yeah, you heard what he said. He a product like, of that shit. He's a product. That's how he got here. His his ass is a rape baby, bro. You know, like Olivia from SBU Law and Order. Look, like, she's a rape like baby. Who oh, daddy raped his mama? So I be knowing, like, she be real. Look, bro. On my son, Olivia from Law and Order SVU, goddamn, it's a, it's her ass got, uh, she a rape baby. Her daddy raped her mama, and due to the fact that she knew that she grew up to, so boom, she a rape baby that grew up to help rapists. It makes sense. It's like, all right, you a rape baby, so you grew up to help rape victims. This nigga a rape baby, and he grew up to rape more, <laughs> to do more raping. Like, come on, bro. Like, on my son, like, that's it. Yeah, bro. That trauma, like what? Yeah, bro. Like, come on, my boy. You know, and I'm hearing there's some people out here, some other content creators who had this same shit happen to they people, and uh, you know, I hope they not still friends with him because that that make you look crazy. You said that your own people went through this shit, and you, but you know, I don't expect people on a lot of people on here to have no spine, bro. A lot of, it's a lot of spineless motherfuckers over here with no more of the principle. So yeah. I'm actually expecting for a lot of people to actually keep rocking with him because like, I don't know if y'all know this, but a lot of the motherfuckers on here, on these YouTube streets and the comments and content creators, they don't stand on shit, bro. So it's like, 
I'm I'm expecting him to probably lose some of the solid people, but like we the minority. The solid motherfuckers, we minority. The majority is the spineless motherfuckers. So I feel like all the spineless motherfuckers, which is the majority, they're gonna stay over there with him. But he gonna lose right. a lot, of, like he gonna lose a few real motherfuckers. He gonna lose a few real motherfuckers. You right, bro. It's like Definitely. I don't know. People ain't got no principles, no structure. Like people just fucked up, brainwashed. I don't know, man. Society is really fucked up right now. It's just like people don't give a fuck. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, and the real yeah. niggas that do and try to push the right narrative is like it's rare. So we know gotta separate the real from the fake. They followers, so they they gonna right. follow the leaders. Hey man, hey, I know my boy Kali a real nigga. I went on IG Live like two like two weeks ago, phoned him over there with three bad bitches. I'm like, damn, that's my boy. Oh my, like, that's my fucking boy, man. Oh my son. I was like, that's the fuck I'm talking about. I was just hoping uh, none of my little females seen that shit. <laughs> uh, I was well, like, man, I'm my boy. I'm trying to be friends. I'm single as shit. I'm a uh, I'm a single father. I co-parent with my baby mama. You feel me? Word. But we just chopping it up, chopping up some good game. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about. Having a conversation. You know? And then Word. women feel off that and lead off that. It ain't just about trying to get what it is real quick. Da -da -da. You know, it's like you got to feel in person energy and a spirit. If you just want to hug, go pay for some pussy. I tell them motherfucker quick. I ain't never paid for pussy in my life, though. That's just not my yeah, thing. I'm no from that no pimp and all that shit. But it's it's not even about that shit. I think what you do is how you do. Because even two short papers of pussy, he ain't no trick. You feel me? It's just how you do shit. Look, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's getting real scary out here. But, you know, shout out to all the solid motherfuckers out here. Even though it's only a few of us left, you know, definitely tip my hat off to everybody. On oh, my son, I wear dream dogs on here. I'll make, I'll bring yeah. her up here. We'll damn near finish. We'll talk our shit, my son. But, uh, y'all already know me. Hey, you remember, Kylie? We was in here talking about Gemini's and shit. Oh my oh, yeah, son, yeah, yeah. Here, dropping real gems that day. I ain't gonna I lie. Was in, I was in the hey, comment section. I fuck with Gemini's. I got Gemini rising, oh, wow. cancer sun sign, Gemini rising, and Taurus moon signs. That's that's why like I could get along with dinner all the signs, but my mom and dad is both Leo, so that's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm a big Gemini yeah, bird. I'm on the last day for that shit, man. Hey, hey, Quan, what you is, my boy? Like, what's your shit is? June 20th, I'm a Gemini, the last day for that. Oh, shit. okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you was in the comment section that day. We was talking about shit. Yep. I remember that shit. Yep, yep. Man, my Gemini baby cut me off, man. Cold, man. <laughs> Which one of y'all? <laughs> hey, was it Quan or was it Kali? You said your Gemini girl, she was acting crazy. One of y'all said that shit. They do be man, acting I was crazy. I was fucking with two girls named Mia and was both Gemini's, but one of them really named Tamia. It was funny as hell. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I fell back because I cut one off because I was trying to be with the other one. Oh, girl, she had got divorced. I don't know. I ain't fucking with no more married divorced bitches no more. <laughs> Look, man. On my Look, son, yeah. the folk no said, hey, hey no, nah, that's shit crazy. I ain't gonna lie, shit. But no, nah, I ain't gonna lie, like shit. Gemini's, them is one of my favorite females to date, bro. I ain't even gonna, they crazy, though. <laughs> Oh my That's son, they is crazy. But them like one of my favorite females today, bro. My son, like I done had like hella raw ass experiences with some Gemini's, bro. I ain't gonna lie to it's you. It's hit or miss because you be oh, loving the ass. It's like they either love you or they hate you, but I just be loving the ass. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I'm some old bitch shit. They be toxic. Yeah. <laughs> them Sagittarius though, I ain't gonna lie. There's them the motherfuckers. I'm gonna be like, look, stay away from them motherfuckers. Like Sagittarius, I ain't gonna lie, man. They ass is crazy. Now Pisces females, I love me some motherfucking Pisces females. I love, females. Pisces. I love, I love Gemini females and Pisces females. But some Sagittarius Pisces females, oh man, man. Look, my last lie, Sagittarius, that bitch broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> look, bro, they are <laughs> right at the end of the year, man. My son. Mm -mm -mm. Look, man, I'm I'm chilling with this one Sagittarius female, right? God damn it, I just took her out to Sushi King and shit like that. We, you know what I'm saying? We we come back to the crib, we smoking, drinking this shit. So boom, god damn it, I'm I'm end up talking to her. I'm like, man, 
it's a song that played, and I'm like, man, I just lost one of my old friends and shit like that. I ain't say no girl, but she was on it, bro. She was on. It was a girl, but I, I ain't say it though. I'm like, man, this song made me think there's a girl down. There's, there's my friend, and I don't even talk to no more. And then her ass got mad. She's like, man, why you talking about? So what you motherfucker, you miss her and shit like that. She started tweaking with me, bro. She started tweaking with me. And I ain't even gonna lie, I almost ain't getting no pussy that night. <laughs> so I end up getting a steal. I end up getting a steal, but she tweaked with me before she gave it to, gave that shit to me, guy. And I was like, this is my first and mind you. This, like I just I've been talking on Facebook dating for like probably like like two days, but this is my first day I met her. First day I met her, I took her out to the uh, Sushi King. We come back to my crib, chill. And she ended up giving me some pussy the first day I met her, but she tweaked with me like she wasn't, though. She tweaked with me like she wasn't even going to. I was like, damn, I just fucked my pussy up for the night. But the whole time, I still end up getting the shit. But I was like, damn. I was like, man. I'm like, bitch, I just met you. I just met you. Like, why the fuck is you tweaking with me? Like, we is in a full blown relationship and, like, I'm not allowed to talk about other females or some shit. She had, Man, that's just crazy, but uh, um, like that, bro. Like, I didn't talk myself out of some pussy a couple times, bro. Like, you just gotta listen for real. They probably be trying to vent. Sometimes you don't need to give your opinion or uh solutions, they just want to talk about their problem unless they ask you for a solution. But don't let them talk, they gotta get something off their heart. You feel me? <laughs> no, no, I feel like they're gonna tweet with you sometimes because I'm right, I got someone the first day, but she tweaked with me, she tried to test me. That was a shit test, that's what I call it. But yeah, it be like that though, bro. They be crazy as hell. I know. I feel like we I, gonna I, spend I, the rest of our lives trying to figure out how a woman think, but you know, it's different. See, I'm trying to get like that. Hey, man. We, hey, hey, on my son, we we gave these people enough, man. We gave these people enough. We got 137 people in the building. Hey, before y'all get up out of here, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all live. Make sure y'all show some love to my boy Kylie. Make sure y'all show some love to my boy Quan Porter in the building. Dream doll, if you out there watching, we going live tomorrow on CSP clips. We opening the panel up again, so you can pop up on there tomorrow. God damn it, y'all already know us. Make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch. Hey, make sure y'all go check out episode three of CSP Go to War with bloggers. While I went on Goofy Dude, man, go tap in, bro. And I'm saving the kids. I'm spreading awareness. Y'all, everybody, be on the lookout for this. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Dude, ass is a straight Pedro. But look. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Shout out my boy hey, Kylie. Hey. Shout out my boy Quan Porter. Hey, two things. Hey. Shout out, sh shout out, shout Thank out, Diddy for show. And number two, like shout out the whole chat, that, man. Shout out Quan Porter. If y'all go shout out Zing Dog, y'all better go watch his CSP go to war before y'all do that shit. Hey, look, man. I thought his ass was known better, man. His ass acting like it was sweet over here. His ass, look what happened to you. Look what happened. Go watch what happened to Beaky before y'all do that shit. <laughs> Hey, on my son. And, hey, I'm dropping that shit too, bro. I still got all that shit in the archives, bro. I'm just, I'm dropping once a month because that shit's so rare. I'm like, all right, I'll drop it once a month. Yeah, man. Look, look, his ass should have, his ass should have paid attention, man. Cause look, look what happened to you, man. Not, not, not look what happened to you. Look, you did it to yourself, man, my son. But, um, Look, man, shout out everybody, everybody in the building. Everybody make sure y'all show some love to my boy Kali and my boy Quan Porter. We love y'all. Y'all already know we air day with this shit. We pulling back up on y'all tomorrow. CSP clips, man. Make sure y'all be on the lookout for that shit, man. Hey, shout out my hey man. Shout out to both of y'all. Shout out my boy Kali. Shout out my boy Quan Porter. We finna get off this shit, man. Y'all already know what's going on, man. I appreciate y'all coming up here with me on my son. Definitely appreciate uh both of y'all coming up here with me, bro. We're gonna start doing this shit. We definitely gonna start doing this shit for sure. Man, you gotta come out here to Cali, man. On me. Hey, no, <laughs> at least I know I got somebody out there that I can like, you know, link up with and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey Quan, where you at, my boy? Um, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky. All right, all right. That's if I'm out in Louisville. Hey, hey, Kylie, if we have in Louisville, we already know we gotta link up with them. Oh god. <laughs> For sure. Y'all be smooth, be safe, and take yeah. care. All right, man. Yep. All right. Y'all be smooth, man. For sure. All right, man. I love y'all. Y'all already shout out Kylie, shout out Quan Porter. Y'all already know what's going on. We finna get up out of here. Shout out everybody that pulled up, man. We're putting up tomorrow. CSP clips. Make sure y'all be on the lookout for that shit. You know what I'm saying? We air day with this shit, man. Yeah.
Y'all already know what's going on, man. Well, y'all get up out of here. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Say what number y'all is. Uh, make sure y'all go mess with all the links in the description. Definitely make sure y'all mess with that link all the way at the top of the description. CSP go to war with bloggers episode three. Ha <laughs> ha he funny as hell. Look, CSB go to Wild Blog is episode three, all the way at the top of the description. Click that shit, run that shit up, and then definitely make sure y'all go uh, get y'all OTM merch, man. Y'all already know what's going on, man. I got my red face on today, man. I got a lot of red on, so I got my red face on today, man. My son, bro. Y'all already know. Love y'all. Finna get up out of here. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up.